In this video, we're going to go over the light attribute decay rate. So here we have a spotlight, and our decay rate is set for no decay. And we can see our spotlight here, and we can see because we're in viewport 2, and our lighting is set to use all lights, we can see how the light is affecting our objects in this viewport. So let's hit the render button, and we'll see what kind of effect our light is having. You can see our light is shining on our objects, and all of our objects are lit by the same intensity that our, our light is. So we have an intensity of 1, and it, we have the same illumination on the first shape as we do on the back, on the very last one. So what the decay rate will do is vary how much the light will be shining over a distance. So it will reduce the intensity over a distance. The amount of light hitting the first object will be greater than the light hitting any of the objects towards the end of this line. So let's go um, look at our options under decay rate. So we open it up, we see we have linear, quadratic, and cubic. Quadratic, quadratic is a real world decay rate. So this would be a realistic, uh, the way a light would realistically fall off. Linear, it doesn't fall off as much. It's a, less of a fall off, uh, less of a decay. And cubic is a greater decay. So it, it will fall off faster than real life. So let's go to the quadratic, the real life one first. And let's save this so we can see a comparison. And let's do a render. And you can see we can't see anything in here. That's because our intensity is not high enough. It's, not, it, it's falling off before it even gets to our shapes at this intensity. So we have to turn our intensity up. So let's bring it all the way to the end. And you can see in our viewport, we're just starting to see a little bit of illumination on those shapes. Let's do a render. And we are just about seeing some of these shapes, but it's still not intense enough. So because we've pushed the slider to the end, we can still um, just come into this area and just type in a number. Um, so let's go to 100. And let's see what this looks like. And now we're starting to get more illumination. Do a render. Now you can see our first shape is illuminated and it trails off as it goes down towards the end. Now this will give a much more realistic look to your lighting using this decay rate. When you do use decay rate, you will need to change the intensity. Now we could see what it looked like with no decay rate and what it looks like with a decay rate. And it gets a much nicer look with your lights. Let's try the linear. And now you can see our light is way too bright. So we need to take our intensity down. Let's go down to 10. And that's looking good. Could probably be a little bit brighter. But you can see the real world one, the decay falls off as it gets towards the end, and the linear, which doesn't fall off as fast as real life, so our light is a little brighter at the end. And then we can go in and check out the cubic. Cubic means it will fall off faster than real life. So now at an intensity of 10, we need more light we need to increase that intensity. So even at 100, it still looks like it's pretty weak. Or 200. Let's bring this up to 500. We'll do a render. Now you can see we have illumination on the front, and it trails off very fast. A lot faster than the real world setting, which is quadratic. So when we look at these, no decay means the light does not fall off. 
linear, it falls off gradually. Quadratic is a real world scenario, and it's, it falls off faster than linear. And cubic is, it falls off faster than real world and faster than the quadratic. So for each step that you go in the decay rates being faster, you need to increase your intensity. That is how you use decay rate.